In the United States, we have about 35 Jewish motorcycle clubs with some of the best names. Shul Boys, The Lost Tribe, Star David Bikers, Hillel's Angels, as a play on Hell's Angels. I ride very active with High Riders Motorcycle Club. When people find out we're Jewish, you know, the first thing they say is, what does your mother say? Hold here. אני אוריאל, וזה ליאור. הוא מצלם, ואני מדבר. יחד אנחנו יוצאים לרוד טריפ בלב ארצות הברית, כדי לפגוש את היהודים של תרבות הקאנטרי האמריקאית. הפעם הכבישים הובילו אותנו לניו ג'רזי. אמנם אחוז היהודים כאן הוא מהגבוהים בארצות הברית. אבל מעט מאוד מהם משתייכים לזן הנדיר של אופנוענים יהודיים. היום ננסה להבין את הפרדוקס הזה. זו התנגשות כזו של, של, של שני דברים, כאילו הארלי דיווידסון, אמריקה, קעקועים, מעילי אור, ופתאום איזה רופא שיניים יהודי מניו ג'רזי. לגמרי. לא הולך ביחד. אנחנו בדרכנו לפגוש את לורן סקולר. רוכבת הרלי מושבעת ואחת ממקימות מועדון הרכיבה היהודי, חי ריידרס. היי, אתה לורן, נכון? אני אהיה, היי. היי, אוריאל. היי, נכון לראות אותך. אני דויד, נכון לראות אותך. היי, דויד. היי, דויד. היי, ריידרס. נכון. זה הדרך הנכונה, אבל כשאנחנו נכון לרסטורנט ודברים, זה נכון לראות אותך, נכון לראות אותך. 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 This is not real tattoos? I was going to tell you, this no. is not real. Oh. Now, if it was, I'd be thrown out of my house. But I thought bikers have tattoos. I do. We're Jewish you bikers. Do. The girls in the club do. <laughs> I was 18 years old when I started riding. My mother's first week answer was, oh, a tattoo next. I'd already had the tattoo. The reason why I gravitated towards a Jewish motorcycle club initially was to meet a Jewish guy. I dated a few people from that, but that didn't go far. High Riders were born in 1998, November. High Riders is sort of the, the baby that I nurture. I'm one of the founding members and uh, one of the driving forces. So what's the plan for today? Today we're just going to go for a little ride, enjoy the nice weather before uh, we can't anymore. I go on his bike? Yeah, we're taking you along with us for the ride. So I have to sit on that one? With, with, with Charlie now. Is that the one that has heating? Yeah. That has, bus? correct. <laughs> okay. Are you nervous? A little bit nervous. <laughs> We have about 70 members. You'll never get them all together at once. Once a month we have a meeting of dinner on the second Wednesday of every month. And we've been doing it at a glot kosher restaurant because it's inclusive, you know. And then on an off day like this, we'll get together, who's around, and do what's up. Chai Riders is one of the Jewish people of the Jewish people. Today, there are many Jewish people in the world. In the past year, many Jewish people are going to the Jewish people to the Jewish people to the Jewish people. שנקרא Ride to Remember. It's a whole social networking of like-minded people doing like kind things. And that's really what the club is about. החיבור לקהילת הרוכבים הוא אמנם חשוב, אבל לאופנוענית אמיתית כמו לורן, יש גם חיבור עמוק לאופנועים עצמם. והיא באמת התרגשה מאוד להראות לי את כל ששת האופנועים שלה. This is my winter motorcycle. This is a new BMW. 2007 Heritage, Harley Davidson. There's more. So this is my very favorite bike. It was inexpensive. I had a bit of an accident, so I bought that one. So this is safer? A little bit. Um, and then I have a dirt bike. Now here we have a very old classic. This is my very first motorcycle. This is a 1984 Sportster, Harley Davidson. Do you remember buying it? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, sure. I didn't know how to ride it yet. Oh, really? Yeah, I did not know how to ride it yet, but um, there's a connection. Maybe I could try riding it. I wouldn't go that far yet. אז נאלצתי להסתפק במושב האחורי, ואחרי הרכיבה ישבנו לאכול עם חי ריידרס במסעדה יהודית אמריקאית טיפוסית. פוטטו לטקס? כן. זה כמו חנוכה, לא? כן. קבוצת הרוכבים הרגישה כאן בבית, אבל הם בהחלט יוצאי דופן בקהל הסועדים. You know, and most of the guys, they didn't tell their mothers. 
or they waited till their mothers passed to start riding. I only began riding motorcycles here when I was 40. My father knew about it, but he told me, never mention this to your mother or she'll never sleep again. She'll be so worried. No one in my family rode a motorcycle. I grew up, I went to yeshiva. No one there rode a motorcycle. No one in the shul rode a motorcycle. It was just something I always dreamed about and finally did. Before I got married, my, my father-in-law used to say, what are you going out with this guy for? He has a motorcycle. It's not quote unquote the norm. Besides being a psychologist doctor, uh, on Shabbat I also function as a rabbi. So I don't fit the stereotyped image of somebody who rides motorcycles. A motorcycle club environment is more like a family. It's opened up an avenue, certainly to Judaism and people in my life that I'd never been exposed to otherwise. Our members are from Reform to Lubavitch. We have lots of rabbis and cantors and dentists, all different levels of people involved in the Jewish community. And, and it's great because it's, it's really a great affiliation to have. And that sort of put motorcycles in a different light for a lot of people, which is good. It's a good thing.